Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with Emergency Az number 12 Emergency Az videos, raw reactionary type of videos to breaking news within gaming. I'm going to be talking about Dragon Con today, the mother of all conventions, <laughs> uh, because Blizzard had a panel there and they went into more stuff about Legion. So we got a little bit of an insight into what's going on with some other things. Also, there's a bit of a spoiler regarding Illidan. So if you don't want to to know about that I will put spoiler tags across the screen before I speak about it so it gives you time to mute and then when it's muted you can see the spoiler tag and then when the spoiler tag is removed it means I've stopped speaking about Illidan but please I'm going to stress this um, if you want to discuss it in the comments please use spoiler tags. So first things first let's talk about some of the classes demon hunters uh, currently the plan is that they're going to start at level 98. They're going to go through their storyline between level 98 to 100. Once they hit level 100, of course, they'll catch up with the rest of the people at maximum level. And then they can start to level up to 110, which will be the new maximum level. Death Knights, sorry, you're still going to be starting at level 55 if you want to roll a DK. They're not pushing that any uh, farther forward. The reason why they brought uh, mentioned Death Knights and Demon Hunters is because Death Knights and Demon Hunters are both hero classes. Monks aren't a hero class. Sorry, monks, you're just a regular class like us. Um, Demon Hunters will also have uh, like a transformation animation when they go, I imagine, into Metamorphosis. Um, whatever. And uh, only Demon Hunters will be able to use Glaives, which I'm sure is a piece of information they've already shared with us. But it does mean monks, rogues, warriors, chamois, uh, etc. You will not be able to use glaives unless, of course, you go to the Black Temple, defeat Illidan, and you're fortunate enough to have the legendaries drop, in which case, there you go, legendary glaives. Um, and double jump, the double jump feature, the Mario feature, which everyone's referring to it as, will not be disabled anywhere. So you can double jump to your heart's content. Now, what they have said, Blizzard, about the double jump is that the uh, Broken Isles are purposely designed so... <laughs> allegedly, uh, so demon hunters cannot double jump into areas they're not meant to be, whereas they're not bothered about um, other places on the map. If demon hunters manage to fudge somewhere because they can double jump, whatevs. Uh, and that's fair enough. Now, uh, getting away from demon hunters and going on to just regular hunters, because your new survival spec is going to be melee... With a pet. Don't panic. Melee with a pet. I really like that idea, by the way. I, that, that, I give Blizzard a big thumbs up for that. Um, you're going to get a harpoon ability, which is essentially death grip. Uh, you know, I could I could dress it up some other way, but it's death grip. You have a harpoon ability. You throw the harpoon. It latches onto somebody, and then you drag them towards you. Uh, so you could just get a death grip, that's it. Uh, and there's a lot of specs that, which are going to be completely overhauled. And they said that they're going to tweak these specs... And this is a quote, to fit the fantasy of the spec, which is good because that to me says de-homogenization as opposed to homogenization. So fingers crossed we're going to get more class identity in this new expansion. Also, some of the specs are just going to get completely renamed. I imagine survival is going to be one of them. I don't think survival hunters will be called survival hunters. Melee survival hunters? I don't know. Just, I think they'll probably give it a new name to... Um, to feature the melee aspect of it a little bit more um, thoroughly. Like Tracker. Ooh! Oh, I'm giving out some awesome ideas. Call them Trackers. Trackers, yeah. Oh, yes. Tracker Hunter. <gasps> I am awesome. Um, also, some specs are going to have their resources renamed. Um, for instance, Shadow Priests, you're no longer going to be using Mana. You're going to be using Insanity. As your resource. I like I like little things like that. It kind of just breaks up the monotony. Remember when we used to essentially have health and mana. Or if you were um, another class, it would be health and rage. And then he started to change it to energy and focus and holy light. And all this kind of jazz. Uh, so yeah, it, I, I like to see little things like that come into play. Bad news for rogues, though. Um, you're not getting Ravenholt Manor. It's uh, it's essentially confirmed. Um, they said that the sewer class halls for rogues are looking great. They're not really like a sewer at all. Uh, it'll have treasure chests in it and stuff. Well, I'm not trying to rain on Blizzard's parade here, but once I had a shit 
in the toilet, and when I got up to flush the loo, my watch slipped off, and it's a very nice watch, slipped off my arm and fell into the toilet. And when I looked into the toilet, I didn't think, oh, that's a nice treasure. I did think that's just a pile of shit um, with my watch on it. Uh, but never mind. But, yeah, you know, I would have liked to have seen Ravenholt Manor. I think that definitely fits the um, the theme of rogues more than the sewers. Uh, and I'm not not because it's a sewer, but I just think Ravenholt Manor is like, you know, it is the um, the, the home, the true home of Rogues. Uh, moving on. Um, Boomkins, you are going to get a new model for your Moonkin form. Uh, so that is good to hear. The, you've been asking it for years and years and years. Yes, you will get a high-res model of Moonkin forms. Uh, so shut up now. Uh, there are going to be no new major glyphs added to the game. And something that I found very weird is Blizzard saying they're not going to put any gnome hunters into the game because they don't feel it makes sense. I, I can't understand that logic. We run around a fantasy land with swords and magic, killing dragons, and Blizzard tell us that no hunters don't make sense. Come on, let's just have a little bit of perspective with a game like this. I would, I can't see anything wrong with gnome hunters. Just put them in and shut up. Eee, yeah, yeah, they get so precious about irrelevant things, don't they? But never mind. Um, speaking of uh, precious, uh, let's move on to professions now. Do you see? It? These transitions today are just seamless. Absolutely amazing. Uh, there's going to be a single system of upgrading profession items. So when you upgrade a, an item which you've created, you're actually going to destroy it and create a new region, which is going to be called Obliterium. Because you obliterate it. Obliterium. Whatever. And then I imagine those regions would be used uh, to, to construct the new upgraded version of whatever you want to have. Whatever. Uh, a new team are going to be working on professions this time because the old team did such a good job. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. They were shit. Um, and there'll also be some profession quest lines which are going to be added to this expansion as well. I like the idea of that. I'm always looking for depth with MMO RPGs. Um, Warcraft has been lacking depth for a considerable amount of time now. So anything which they could offer to immerse us a little bit more in a world, I will grab with both hands. Hopefully, though, it's not like one quest chain and that's it. You know, it's all like all over. And just like, yeah, okay, next next expansion. We've got a couple more. Oh, um, Blizzard will also get some crafting items. Pr Blizzard, did I say? Uh, professions will also get some crafting items from dungeon loot as well. So you'll be able to get some profession items through dungeon loot. Fair enough. I like that idea. Uh, they won't have daily cooldowns anymore. That's nice. I like that idea as well. So the more that you grind, the more that you work, the more that you can do. I like that. You don't want to put the effort in? Fair enough. You want to just do it over time? Fair enough. But if you really want to sink your time and effort into it and get the items that you want, you essentially have the, um, you know, the... the um the uh, tools, mechanics, or whatever to actually do that. And prospecting could make a return. Because how many people have jewel crafting now? Oh, wait, nobody. Because you absolutely destroyed it. Uh, right. Um, moving on to transmog and stuff. Uh, the new transmog system is going to be account-wide. But obviously, the items which you have in your transmog um, tab, whatever they're going to call it, can only be used by people of that spec. So... Uh, warlocks, for example, like me, can't run around in plate, which I, because I put my paladin gear in. Makes sense. Didn't think that really needed explaining by Blizzard, but apparently we are that dumb as fuck. Now, this has got, got me quite annoyed. They have said there's going to be no tabard tab. Why? Seriously, why? They said the new transmog system is going to help clear up some space. Great. The new transmog system clears up some space. But a, trans, uh, but a tabard tab is going to be really useful. There are so many tabards out there. So many unique ones. They are taking up space. It would make a whole lot of sense just to have like a, tool, um, like a toy tab like we have now. Or an heirloom tab with tabards. Blizzard, just fucking do it. For Christ, again, getting, they get precious about things which are irrelevant, and then things which are going to be, like, nice and helpful to us, just like, ah, I'm getting up, can't you do it? Um, multi-strikes being removed. <laughs> so the only decent secondary stat that we got that was new is going to be taken out of the game. Yay! 
Uh, and some of the other secondary stats will have changes done to them as well. Um, players can still only equip three profession crafted items like in Warlords of Draenor. Yawn, don't like that at all. There won't be specific item art for each race and class as artifact weapons are gaining the priority. Now, what I think they mean by that is um, Chris G. Robinson showed off some art assets at the beginning of Warlords of Draenor that he was working on, which he said was hopefully for the next expansion. He did say hopefully. He, he doesn't promise anything. He really does conduct himself well when he goes on to Twitter. And... Um, he showed off things like Librams and Quivers and stuff like that. I have a feeling that's what they're referring to. So because it's all hands to the pump for the artifact weapons, we're not going to get the Librams and the Quivers and, you know, maybe some soul shards dangling from our belts and stuff like that. Shame. I know. Maybe the expansion after. Who knows? Blizzard are claiming that dungeons are going to become relevant again. Now, by relevant, I hope they don't mean we're going to scale up the existing dungeons every patch because we're lazy bastards. I hope by that they mean dungeons will be relevant because when we create new patches, we'll be bringing new dungeons into the game. So, you know, what? it's such an ambiguous statement. You know, dungeons will absolutely be relevant again. Um, they've really got to sort this dungeoneering out because they've absolutely annihilated it over the course of Mists of Pandaria and Warlords of Draenor. I love dungeons. I love dungeoneering. I think the aspect and the heart of dungeoneering is awesome. It's an MMO fantasy RPG. Give me some fucking dungeons. Have we got that? Okay. Um, now then, spoiler tab. Spoilers. If you don't want to hear about Illidan... I'm just going to put spoilers across the bottom of the screen now. Uh, when the spoilers go, so you can mute the screen, when it goes off the screen, it means I'll stop talking about them. If you do want to discuss what I'm going to talk about now in the comment section, please, 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 can you use spoiler tags and not be an arsehole? If you're an arsehole, I'll just delete your comment. So, you know, come on, just have a little bit of respect for the other people watching the video. So, I'm going to start in three, two, one, right. It's confirmed. Illidan's on our side. Illidan is going to be a good guy. In actual fact, Illidan is going to be heading up the Demon Hunters. Uh, so this is really cool. Fingers crossed we are going to get the redemption storyline for Illidan that so many of us have wanted for so long. And in the end, we'll actually end up killing Maiev. <laughs> yes! Oh, that'd be so awesome. So Illidan... I, I mean, I imagine he's as good a guy as... Sylvanas is a good guy uh, for the Horde. Do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure he's going to have his own agenda. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a little bit jiggery-pokery. I don't think he's going to be hugging everyone. I think he's going to be like, I'll help you, but you can suck my dick uh, if you want anything else out of it. Um, so I think he's going to be one of them. But protagonist Illidan, a lot, a lot. Okay, spoiler tag's coming off now. Um, Stormwind, the park's still going to be annihilated because that thing that they said they were going to fix in during the course of 6.0, remember when they said that? And then they said, well, maybe 6.1, and then they said, no, not at all, is still not going to be this expansion either by the sounds of it, so... Yeah, because uh, 220 people can't fix a park. Um, there's going to be plans for Jaina. Nice, because there weren't any plans for her in this last expansion. The backpack is potentially going to be updated. Now, if you don't know about the backpack, the reason why we still have the 16-slot backpack in the game, and it hasn't been upgraded like all the other bags that we get, you know, 32-slot, blah, 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 is because it's really kind of embedded in the core programming of the original vanilla game. And, and if they try to change it, it could have some massive repercussions. So by the sounds of it, they might have found a way to actually adapt this coding. Uh, so the backpack might not be 16 slots and it might be a little bit higher. Would be nice to see. I don't know, there's just some part of me which, which likes that 16 rucksack. It just kind of says, you know... At the end of it, we're still nubs. Uh, and also, one thing... I've got to end on a low note. <laughs> Can't be a video of mine without me ending on a low note. Um, they say that Warlords of Draenor was not a filler expansion. And it actually built some things which are going to be used going forward. Well, first things first, Blizzard. If Warlords isn't a filler expansion, 
I'll tell you one thing, it absolutely, and it was a shit expansion, and it was a sham of an expansion. And it was a sham because you fucking gave up on it. You stopped working on it, you did fuck all after 6.0, and 6.2 was abysmal. Uh, so, you know, you might not want to call it a filler, we call it a fucking atrocity. That's what it is. So put it whichever way you want. You pull a shit trick like that again, you're not going to have any subs. And it's as simple as that. So you want to pull that shit with Legion... Uh, you're going to have a mediocre game with a mediocre number of subscribers and there are going to be other titles out there absolutely taking people away from you and no doubt will be ahead of you. So you want to try the shit that you did with Legion on Warlords, you are literally going to pull the game down. It will get pulled down. So I hate that last comment of what they put there because to be honest with you, I would like to see some, um, some admission, some true admission that it was a fuck up. You know, maybe then we'd actually have a little bit more respect because they, they admit it. Ian has a cost just kind of tries to apologize while at the same time not admitting anything. I think that's part of his lawyer upbringing. Never admit anything. Never admit culpability because I'm sure somebody can use it against us in court. But whatever. Look, they might not think Warlords was a filler, but Warlords was a fucking piece of shit. Um, right, so there we go. Some information on Legion uh, coming your way. Emergency as number 12 comes to a close. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are also in the description down below and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.